Hey, what's up everybody? This is Zach B and welcome back to Blowout Gaming. I'm so glad you guys could join me today because this is the channel for all of your ARC tips and tricks needs. Today, we are going over the ins and outs of how to make cement paste. You got it, guys. There's a bunch of ways out there to do it, and we're going to go over each of them to help make sure everybody knows exactly the most efficient ways to gather that CP for everything they might need. Now, we're also going to go over and check out some of the new Genesis-specific ways to maximize that cement paste gathering as well. So definitely make sure to stay tuned till the end of the episode for that. Now, as always, guys, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you do not miss out on any of my new tips videos that I'm going to be putting out for you. So let's get into it. Cement paste, guys, is one of the most important resources in Ark Survival Evolved. It is used to craft any of the more advanced items in the game. Everything from saddles to tools, equipment, clothing, and of course, building supplies. And if you can't figure out how to make cement paste, you guys will be going nowhere fast in your Ark journey. So today is all about breaking down how exactly to make cement paste. Now, first of all, you have two options to make cement paste. Number one, beaver dams. So beaver dams are going to provide small amounts of cement paste. You do have to find them near water areas. Those are uh, located in different areas on the map uh, specific to Genesis, which we've been playing recently. Uh, you're going to find beaver dams at the frozen lake. Now, the second option, of course, is to make your own. Now, this is the option that most people go for because cement paste in the beaver dams is not readily available all the time, depending on which map you're on and where you're located on that map. So making your own cement paste is absolutely the best option. Now, there are a couple of ways to do it. But first of all, what do we need to make cement paste? So we need stone and we need keratin or chitin. So these are the main cement paste ingredients. Stone, obviously, there are a number of resources to find stone. So obviously you guys can harvest boulders or stones on the ground. You can pick them up um, yourself by hand or you can use your ax to chop on big boulders to collect stone. You can also use different tames to collect stone. So of course my favorite is a Dodicarus. So a Dodicarus is going to not only collect stone more efficiently, it's also going to get a weight reduction on that stone. So uh, the Dodicarus is my choice for stone gathering. And then the Dodicarus also is able to provide stone out of not just boulders, but obsidian. And then I don't know why you would want to waste metal nodes, but if you take a Dodicarus to the metal nodes, you will also collect just stone. The Dodicarus is able to get you guys stone from crystal. Now, all four of these are plenty acceptable ways to gather stone, um, but some resources you're going to have more easy access to than others. Now, specifically, uh, I, I'm actually at the top of the mountain gathering all of these materials here in the new Arctic biome in the Genesis downloadable content. That's where you guys can find crystal, obsidian, metal, stone. Um, there's even some oil rocks up here. Um, so all those are going to give you guys plenty of stone. And then, of course, you have the added benefit of teleporting back when you're overweighted so that you don't drop any of that stone by putting it in a cryopod or anything like that. Now, if that is the first ingredient we need, we need to figure out where to get keratin and chitin. Now, like I mentioned, keratin and chitin can uh, both be uh, harvested from creatures. The keratin creature list and the chitin creature list I'm going to put up in the description below. And these are, uh, are lists that basically show all of the dinos in Ark that if you harvest them, they're going to give you either keratin or chitin. Now, the other reason that this is important is because some creatures are better at harvesting that than others. So, for example, um, the Sabertooth, Direwolf, or Therizinosaur uh, are recommended for harvesting keratin or chitin um, a little bit more efficiently than some of the other tames. So, first of all, where can we get keratin? So here in the Arctic biome, we have some options. So keratin can be found uh, in a lot of creatures. As you guys can see, we are able to collect this up very efficiently with our dire wolf um, from creatures like woolly rhinos, therizinosaurs, dodicaruses, and ankylosauruses are some of the more readily available ones that you can find for keratin right here on the Arctic biome. Now, chitin, um, is actually harvested from 
bugs. Uh, obviously, you're going to find these in the bog. And you can see here that you get these a lot from the ants, the Titan titan rama drones i'm not even sure if i pronounce that right but the uh what look to be flying ants or the ones that go on the ground here as you can see we harvest chitin from them now uh i did mention that there are some more specific ways to gather chitin um more efficiently in the genesis um content now there is a mission here in the bog that i'll show you guys while i'm over here that is called along came pollen so if you go ahead and pull up your menu um in the bog and track the along came pollen mission and head over there uh basically this mission is a search mission where you move around um and every you know, a couple hundred meters or so, you have to stop for a few seconds and let Helena uh, scan around. And when you do that, all of the creatures in the area aggro onto you. A lot of those creatures being spiders, the Aranios. And so because of that, you're actually able to harvest uh, quite a lot of chitin, as you can see here. So of course, we can't leave the bog without showing off everybody's favorite cement paste gatherer, the Beelzebufo, which is, of course, the giant toad that you guys can find in the bog biome of this new Genesis content. Now, of course, it is located in other swamp areas in other maps, but specific to the Genesis location, this is where you guys are going to find the giant frogs, the Beelzebufos, as they're called. I think that's how you pronounce that. So these guys directly harvest cement paste from bugs. Uh, ants, flying ants or ants on the ground, that's what these guys are into. But with the new addition of this bog biome, we are also able uh, to harvest from these insects here. So as you can see, we got to be careful of these raptors. You can see that in the bog biome, we have insect swarms. Yes. So, get this one. All right. So you can see again, we got 16 chitin and we've got eight cement paste. Now, obviously, guys, this is something that... Oh, here, it's coming back for more. Here we go. Here we go. So 20 chitin, 16 cement paste. So there you go. I mean, four insects and we already have 60 cement paste. All right. We've got some friends joining the party, guys. Perfect. So that gives us a really good example of what the giant toad is all about. Uh, these guys are fantastic when you're in a pinch. Midway through, you know, you're not able to get the uh, saddle until level 40 or so. Um, so it is a little bit more of a uh, mid-game tame. They're carnivores, so uh, go ahead and knock them out and tame yourself up one. Um, and then you go ahead and ride it around and you just... Uh, get yourself some cement paste and some chitin just like that. The other uh, most efficient way to gather chitin in large, large amounts in the brand new Genesis content is actually to head over to the ocean biome and find yourselves a Mega Shellon. Now, the Mega Shellon, as you can see, are the new giant turtles that have been added in the Genesis DLC content. And the reason why these are important is because when you kill a Mega Shellon, as you can see, you get shell fragments. Now, these shell fragments are really cool because when you put them in an industrial grinder like this, you actually are able to grind them down into chitin. And you can see here, it gives you a significant amount of chitin for each small piece of shell fragment. So as you can see, guys, these are the absolute most efficient ways to gather both stone and keratin or chitin, which are the ingredients that we need for our cement paste. So how do we make cement paste? What do we need uh, besides our ingredients to actually craft the cement paste? There are a few different ways to do it, as I mentioned. Number one, and of course the first one that you're gonna have access to as a brand new survivor starting off an arc is going to be the mortar and pestle. Besides the mortar and pestle, we have the Equus Saddle. Once you get a little bit further advanced, you are able to upgrade and get yourself an Equus Saddle. Now, the Equus Saddle basically acts as a mobile mortar and pestle. Now, the last best way to make cement paste, of course, is the Chem Bench. Now, the Chemistry Bench uh, provides you guys six times the amount of cement paste with the exact same amount of resources. The mortar and pestle, we're able to get just over 100 cement paste. You can see it moves pretty slowly, but it is crafting with our keratin, chitin, and stone. It doesn't matter if you have all keratin, all chitin, or both. It will use it exactly the same. 
Now you can see on the Equus, same thing. We're able, same amount of resources. I didn't count them out, uh, but just about the same. We're able to create another uh, 100 on the Equus. And you can see it moves a little bit faster. Then let's go over here to the Kemp Bench. Boom. So over 100 already and... 200 so literally just like that in the same amount of time you've been able to whip up 10 cement paste in either the mortar and pestle or your mobile mortar and pestle the equus saddle you've been able to create 200 in the chemistry bench so like i said there is a reason that it's more advanced but it is the absolute best way to create cement paste and just like that you have all the cement paste you need. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Make sure to hit that like button for me if you did. And then, of course, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new content. Make sure to hit that notification bell for me so that when I put up one of these videos, you guys see it first. All right. I'll see you guys next time.